we're gonna get to the 1010 unboxing, but before we do, we're gonna do this channel's first outfit of the day ever. So today, I am wearing the Western Rise Versa hat, the cuts clothing curved hem shirt, and the Peter Manning workout joggers. I've got a travel day coming up today, so this is a great outfit to keep me comfortable all day. I've been running around the airport, moisture wicking. It's timeless, yet it feels so good. And so, without further ado, let's get to the 1010 unboxing. All right, let's get to it. And we'll go ahead with the unboxing, even though it's not really a box. Hey. All right, so this seems to be standard nowadays. The kind of separate bags, uh, you can hear the tissue paper in there, which is nice. It's a sign of quality. I don't know if it means that, but that's the association in my head anyways. And uh, nothing else, no receipts, no nothing in the bag. I got three shirts. Just gonna pick one of these because um, they're all gonna fit the same and look the same. Define your 10. I'm sure that means something, but I don't know what that means. Whew. Nothing more exciting than opening a brand new shirt after long days of travel. Um, this looks like a charcoal one. Let me let me see, because I, I like the black ones. Lots of plastic here, so if you're uh, into saving the earth, I'll leave it at that. Um, so here it is, the 1010 shirt. 10 out of 10, define your 10 out of 10. I guess that's what that means. I was wrong, no tissue paper. It was this material here. But yeah, first impression, not as buttery as the cut shirt, just my first impression. It's definitely got the stretch, which is nice. Still buttery, but less buttery, if you know what I mean. Uh, let's take a tour around the shirt. I do like this uh, tag right here that is stitched into the shirt just a minimalist look and uh, i don't think this is going to scratch the back of my neck which is also a must you know if we're going for all day comfort you gotta have the tag that you can't feel and this is a really high quality label right here that sits up at the hem um, it feels like real leather i'm not sure that it is pros and cons pro it makes it feel a little bit more premium and has that subtle logo look which is phenomenal, but the con may be that overwashes over time. I don't know, if this starts getting kinda, you know, falling apart and stuff, it's not such a flattering look. So, um, only time will tell for that. Other than that great first impression, I've really been into these super thin collars because I don't want that bacon collar this is stands the test of time um, so that is very helpful and I think the only thing that's left is to throw the shirt on ooh ooh some loose threads here what's up with that I don't know man I don't know is this a foreshadow of the quality of the shirt mmm I don't know the only last thing I'll say is that lately I've been into the black shirts just trying to minimize that decision fatigue day to day I have enough things to worry about and so why not just grab a black shirt every day so lately I've been using the Uniqlo Supima cotton shirt and the Uniqlo airism shirt I didn't know what the difference was I have two of each so basically I wear those Monday through Friday and then on the off day I just wear something else but uh, yeah I thought I would mix it up a little bit because you know sometimes you just need that flair that game day shirt if you will and so I was looking for something that has a scooped hem here um, the cut shirt is really solid that's what I'm wearing right now it does have that curved hem but the thing is I wanted a little bit more flair I wanted this back to be a little bit longer than the front and so that's what drew me to this shirt right here if you look carefully the front curve hem here is curved and then the back is like a elongated. I wish that cuts made this cut of hem because I think it just looks really good. The one that cuts has the elongated version, it just looks kind of off to me. There's nothing wrong with it. It just looks like a Kung Fu master, you know, with, with the two hems that fall together. I don't know, it just looks a little wrong to me and nothing wrong with it, but. All right, so before I throw this shirt on, I just wanna feel what a cut shirt feels like. Just smooth, buttery stretchy it just feels so good and now the 1010 shirt all right here we go trying it on for the first time ever 1010 let's go oh. okay so some first impressions here um first impression fit is great i like it 
I like how the front is not too far down, it doesn't hang too far down, but this one falls at a good length here. And I, again, I just love how the back goes a little bit more than the front. I don't know, it's just kind of a natural look, right? Um, but again, just reviewing the basics, the must of a shirt is that the collar needs to just fit well, not squeeze my neck, not too tight, looking for all day comfort. One shirt that can be worn through the whole day, whether it's at the office, at the gym, taking the kids out, or all of the above in one day, trying to reduce decision fatigue, right? So this shirt feels like it's it. Yeah, it has a good length right here, exactly what I was looking for. And I'm a little afraid that this is gonna shrink, but I'm pretty sure I read on the website it's pre-shrunk. So hopefully that will stand true. This is what I'm looking for, a trendy shirt, something with a little bit more flair, something that I can wear day to day, every day. But uh, yeah, just a, a game day shirt. You know, when I gotta perform at work, I just gotta feel that pizzazz, gotta feel better. This is gonna be the shirt that I go to.